वेलकम लर्नर आई एम डॉक्टर आशुतोष कुमार भट्ट एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी आई होप द टॉपिक डिस्कस टुडे विल डेफिनेटली बेनिफिट यू टुडे एंड टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ रूबी एंड ट्रेल इज हेल्पफुल एंड व्हाट आर द प्रोसेस ऑफ डाउनलोडिंग एंड एग्जीक्यूटिंग प्रोग्राम Uh, on Ruby on Rail. So, so first, first of all, I will uh, explain you. Ruby on Rail is very important programming language, and this is open source programming language. There are so many benefits. I have already told you about Ruby on Rail, and many companies are using this Ruby on Rail. And the list of these companies are uh, Airbnb, Kick, uh, Starter, and GitHub, as well as uh, Twitter. so many more companies are using this ruby on rail because it is cost effective and it is uh, very easy to work on ruby on rail and easily available on uh, github and other uh, sites it, uh, because it is open source and uh, nowadays uh, it is uh, building the software which is 30 to 40% faster than other programming languages so we can develop web software in ruby on rail and uh, Uh, uh now i am uh, discussing about how to uh, uh, how to download the ruby on rail and then i will um, uh, explain you how to run the program in ruby on rail so the process of download of um, ruby on rail software you have to go uh, rubyinstaller.org you can see here in this sli uh, slide rubyinstaller.org ruby for this is ruby for windows and you have to uh, press on download button so uh, this is easy way to install ruby on windows and when you will click on download then you will have a uh, number of options so you have to select any one uh, of these options and there are many version of ruby on rail so uh, which is uh, according to com compatibility of different system so 64 bit ruby on rail is best for uh, windows 10 uh, machine so we have selected this one suppose we have selected ruby 2.1.6 point uh, 2.1.6 uh, for 64 bit machine so you can select any one of um, these software so mm, this is according to your system configuration so according my system configuration this is the best one so i will select this one Uh, and and then we'll have this window opening ruby installer so uh, you can save it and it will be uh, saved on your window so uh, it's very small software and uh, easily you can download this one and, and the exe file of this software ruby installer 2.1.6 dash x64.exe so you will have this file and you can see this file on your window now uh, this is the first first step and the, in second step you also have to download uh, development kit you can see here uh, in the uh, same window you have uh, you have been uh, these these all the ruby software as well as you have been uh, along with along with these ruby software you have been development kit so you also have to install development kit uh, because uh, the development kit is essential part of this ruby software Uh, due to this development kit uh, we automate the software running process matlab humko alag se pehle compile nahi karna padta jdk ki tarah fir uske baad usko run karayenge automatically compile and as well as it run the program so that's why we have to install development kit also here so uh, you have to select here development kit you have number of options for development kit also so you you can select any one of this this development kit according to your system configuration this is for uh, 32 bit version and this is for 64 bit version so for windows 10 and uh, later system uh, 64 bit is uh, better than 32 bit um, version so uh, we have selected here development kit and then on next step we will install this development kit on our system so th this is dot exe file of this development kit and uh, we will have to click on save button so it will be saved on our system so now we have two um, software uh, under this download uh, folder um, first is the development kit and second is the ruby installer 2.1.6 which we have uh, already 
downloaded and now we have to start installation process so first of all we have to develop we have to download exe file of development kit as well as ruby installer and now we will install it so uh, we will click on this ruby installer and then we will find this window we will press on the run button and then it will execute license agreement is here and you have to uh, press on i accept the license then the next button then you will have to press on next button and it will uh, install in your system will be installed in your system and finally you have to press on finish window finish uh, button and then you have to uh, down uh, you have to install development kit also so again you will double click on this dub, um, development kit it will display this window and uh, this tab and you have to press on run button and then uh, it will display you uh, self extracting archive so you have to write here you have to mention here uh this development kit will be installed inside the ruby so you have to tell the system where to install this development kit so you will write here c colon slash ruby slash development kit either it will display automatically or you have to mention here development kit directly and then you will write here extract button mm, this will extract development kit on this uh, development kit directly so if, you, if it is not uh, uh, showing here then you you have to mention development kit you, or you have to write development kit directly then you will find that uh, inside ruby uh, you have to extract this one so 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 see in the next next one uh, you have this development kit directory initially you don't have this development development kit directory so you have to mention here make new file folder in case in, in case it is not showing here in case development kit, kit is not here then you have to do you have to go on uh, this browse window you have to move on this browse window you have to move on this this button and you will move here and you will uh, have to create new folder make new folder you have to press on make new folder and then create here development kit directory and then click on ok then you will find development kit directory and inside development kit directory uh, you will extract whole development kit uh, software so it will be stored here so inside the program files you, now you, inside the program file you will have this uh, ruby and uh, inside this c inside this c directory you will have ruby directory and inside ruby directory you have development kit and inside development kit you have been whole software so now you are ready to run the program now the next pro next step how to execute the program on ruby so you will go you will move on desktop and in desktop you will have a folder or shortcut of uh, ruby ruby on rail so you have to double click on that software then you will find this uh, editor window of ruby on rail and uh, this is ruby ruby on rail window and you will have to write program here suppose you have to return here class first app and inside the class you have written here this function function will be started by df you will define the function say is the name of function name is the argument of the function and you have written here my name is whatever you have passed the argument it will be here inside this curly bracket so i am i am the boss so it will be displayed on the output window so it will execute so first of all uh, we will create the ob object of this class and then we will execute through the object we will execute this say function so now Create, creating the object of uh, this class we will have to write here uh, first app dot new means uh, we are creating new uh, object of first app class first app is a class and new means we are creating new object of first app class and this will be app so app is the object of first app class and now we'll write now we'll have object of this class so we can execute this say function so we have written here app dot say so app dot say function and this is the name of uh, this is the argument and this argument moved to the name name variable and finally it will be it will print my name is walter and i am the boss so it will be displayed in the lower part of this window this window and, and now see the another one uh, here we have written different print function you can see output also here in the previous one we don't have any output but in this uh, window we have output as well as program we have output uh, we have print function and puts function puts function will move to the next line 
uh, while print function will uh, print on the same line so we have written hello hello f hello friend f r n d so it will be displayed here hello f r n d and then puts my name is bj my name is bj and but uh, in case of puts it will it will move cursor to the next line so uh, this is puts line and this puts line will move to the next line and again we have written this put function puts func uh, function or puts statement this will again move to the next line my name is ajay ajay after ajay it will cursor will be moved in next line again print this will again move on um, next line bj and finally we have this uh, print function these are print function so the print function will not move cursor to the next line because after bj manal will be displayed on same line so the process finish with the exit code zero so this is this is a simple statement we are not using any function or we are not using any class so simple function we can execute simple statement simple execution statement can be executed in this uh, editor or this uh, uh, ruby software so we can see the output of all these function so these are the process of running program in ruby on rail as well as how to install ruby on rail i have explained you both the process and so i hope you will uh, execute accordingly and download the software accordingly and i hope that you will enjoy this uh, lecture thank you very much uh, for listening this lecture thank you again